What's good with you, baby? It's your boy, No Can Fent, and we in these Nebraska streets. The first thing I thought of when I crossed the Nebraska borders, I thought they had like them big corn fed mofos. You feel me? Like, like that's where they get the offensive linemen from. Like the shot put brothers, spandex on or whatever, and they just throwing like little bitty baby balls. I don't know if it's baby, you know, it's probably pretty heavy, but you know, there's some truth to that. I seen a whole bunch of big swole cock diesel mofos, but they face don't match. You know, picture Donald Trump with pecs of steel. I'm not saying he's not capable of it. I'm just saying I wasn't ready. I also thought Nebraska was just straight up flat. You remember that flat earth conversation? I think the people that started that, yeah, they stationed in Nebraska. But don't you worry about a thing, Nebraska. I found me some hills. It was out yonder. I got it. And since a lot of us living in a color-coded world, I'm gonna give you some color-coded conversation. I didn't see too many black people. I'm used to that. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much a regular day. I seen that movie before, you know? But in Omaha, there was a glitch in the matrix. Blah, I was chilling like a villain. No robbing, no stealing. Driving past CenturyLink Center, and all of a sudden, black folk came out of nowhere. You understand me? And they was dressed to impress. I thought I was at a HBU, you feel me? Like, there was folk out here with the red bottoms on. It might have been pay less shoe source with a little makeup at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? I, who knows? I had to get on the phone and try to figure out what's going on out here because I ain't never seen this many black folk in a white area ever. I found out Kevin Hart was in town. I appreciate you, Kevin Hart. Let me know that we out you. He brings him in. I, he, everybody came out to see him. Every single one of them came out. If you wasn't out there, then most likely you was least in the area to parking lot pimp. Because it had to go down. Like I said, they were dressed to impress. Now, I also did a little work out there in Nebraska. One of the jobs I did was actually taking out lockers out of a high school gym. And player, there were so many lockers. And I had so many issues with the labor. But I'm not tripping, though. I had my boy LaMail, and we were struggling as a unit. You feel me? He had issues with his arms or whatever and legs. I had issues with my back. Player, we was, it was a match made in heaven for this job. Lamel also told me about a place called Time Out. He said it served the best fried chicken in town. So I decided to take my locker carrying slave money and partake in that fried chicken. I partaketh and the chicken was good. And I wasn't even that hungry, plug. I just ate that with passion. Because where I'm from, we eat to the gristle. <laughs> Nebraska is a beautiful, quiet place, you feel? And they had some hidden gems over there, man, for real, for real. Like, Chaudron State Park, digging it. Toadstool, digging it. Courthouse Jail Rock, digging it. You feel me? And also, man, I gotta give a special shout out to this place called Car Hinge. It's a beautiful place in Alliance, Nebraska. It's like a car art graveyard, you feel me? I enjoyed every minute of it, man. Bring the family, baby. Be selfie ready. All in all, I had a good time in Nebraska. The people were cool and the land was vast, beautiful, you feel me? Ready to be explored. But you know what? <clears throat> Enough talking about it, my throat's starting to get a little raspy. You know? Man, let's partake in the visuals, baby. Drop the beat.
It's this mother. mother.